A lot of people have asked, do you prefer a small ship or a large ship? So small ship, large ship, the number one difference for me is the number of people on board. A smaller ship has less square footage, but also has a lot less people on board. For example, one of the smaller ships we've been on is with Princess Cruise Line, their ship Island Princess. It's an older ship, but also a smaller ship. Compare that with Royal Caribbean Symphony of the Seas. Now Island Princess can hold approximately 2,800 people, while Symphony of the Seas has about 6,200 people. Again, approximate, but it's a lot of people. Why does that matter? When it comes time to finding deck space just to watch the sail away or watch scenery as you're sailing into port or just lounging by the pool in a chair, it's very difficult to find any space whatsoever when there's 6,000 people competing for that deck space. Now a smaller ship has less deck space but also has a lot less people competing for that space. Another difference is the actual size of the ship. Yes, we've talked about square footage when it comes to the deck, but the size of the ship is different. And why does that matter? Well, the larger the ship, the less motion you're going to feel. So if you're someone who tends to get motion sickness or seasickness, you may want to start out on a larger ship so that you'll feel that movement less. Another difference between a large ship and a small ship, with a larger ship, oftentimes the food options are larger because there's more space on board where they can have different little restaurants or fast food type places where on a smaller ship, the square footage is smaller so there's not a lot of space for those. You'll still have your main dining room and your buffet and you'll still have some other options but the options on a larger cruise ship are going to be more. A small ship versus a large ship for activities. Oftentimes on larger ships, there's a lot more activities to choose from. We are entering a stage of life where activities aren't a big thing for us. We're more into scenery and ports of call, so the onboard activities don't matter as much to us. Now if it was my daughter and her family, those onboard activities would mean a great deal. So it just kind of depends on the stage of your life and what you like to do. The main difference for us, some ports only allow the smaller ships to dock there. One of the main ones is Sitka, Alaska. Only the smaller ships can stop in Sitka, and yet that is one of our favorite places to stop when we're cruising to Alaska. So keep these tips in mind when you're deciding on a cruise line and also a cruise ship. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.